welcome back to another video today i'm just vlogging i'm just gonna do a day in my life nothing too crazy nothing special but a very just chilled day off i need to go to the supermarket and pick up a few things then i think i want to cut my hair here's the thing um the last time i cut my hair last year i did it myself and i still regret it so maybe i should go to a professional but i also want to do it myself because i saw this tiktok where the girl she tied her hair and she did like layers and it looked so beautiful sometimes i get these urges to just cut my hair and do it myself i don't know why it always happened to me i used to cut my bangs and yeah this is normal probably i think because well it happens a lot to me <laughs> so let's see if i find a good place throughout the day to cut my hair but i need to make an appointment because everything no um yeah maybe i should just do it myself my hair is pretty long right now it looks like this so even if i mess it up i think it will be fine because i can just go to the professionals and cut it again so yeah let's let's do this Woo! yeah I really needed to get a few things from the supermarket so that's what I'm doing here. I feel super awkward filming inside places like this so I apologize about these clips being so rough. Anyway, I got this Harry Potter puzzle for $12.99 and then I went to the cleaning aisle. I first picked up this basic spray but then I found out that Sif Natura was on sale so instead I got their multi spray and their bathroom one. Yeah. cut my hair this is how it looks um, but I do need to brush it I'm gonna use my tangle teaser and just brush it through mm -hmm. and the video TikTok um, I saw she just tied her hair in different places and cut it and then the hair looked amazing and layered and I want that so that's what I'm gonna be doing today I'm gonna brush it out, then I'm gonna tie it in the back, somewhere around here, then like here, then here, no, one here, one here, and then front bits, I don't know. Let's see, here's the scissor. Lovely. As you can tell, I have this bit here, my hair just doesn't go down. It always looks a little bit upwards and crazy, but this is how it naturally is. Like, I think my natural part should be side part, but I just don't like seeing myself with a side part. So I've been using the middle part for years and years now. I just feel like it fits my face better. I have like this very long face. And I just like to do a middle part, even though my hair just, like, the roots just, you know. Anyway, okay, so let's do this. Stop rambling and let's just do it. I want to do it just right here. I think this is in the middle. I mean, you can see it better than I. You know what would be very, very useful? A mirror. I would love to have a hand mirror. Let's see if I can find one. Anyway, and then I'm going to go like this. Just making sure everything is there. And. So, 
I started by going straight and now I'm just getting into um, it's not very straight but well okay actually I think it looks okay now let's move on to the next layer I'm just going to go from my ears straight back Maybe that's too little. From my ears, a little bit upwards, and with my fingers. Yeah. Okay, I think this is in the middle. Now I'm going to do the same process. I'm gonna go like this, see the hair, and chick chick chick. Okay, I'm back. I quickly just chopped some of my split ends. Um, nothing too crazy because I do want to keep my hair very, very long, and I just, I just want it to grow healthier. And it wasn't very healthy at the moment, so let's just move on with the layers. Okay. So I, I was just trimming my front pieces. I don't want to cut them a lot because last year I decided to do curtain bangs and I just, I, I still hate myself for doing so. So yeah, I'm just going to try to not touch these bits here, but I just wanted to trim the longer pieces and yeah. So obviously I still need to wash my hair, I probably should have done this with my hair wet but I have super straight hair so it doesn't change that much I think, I really don't know how it works but I'm happy, I feel like, I mean, it didn't change that much but it looks healthier a little bit So what? Okay, change of plans. I'm feeling the urge of doing the long bits again. That's what I was saying before. I sometimes feel this urge to cut my hair. I don't know. I'm just going to go a little bit higher. I don't hate it uh, I really don't see that much of a difference too which is a good thing because I know for a fact that I chopped some of the split ends and unhealthy hair so overall I think it's a good experience this is all the hair it doesn't look that much but it kind of still is a good amount my hand looks very red Mm. I swear my hand doesn't look this red in real life. I don't know. Maybe it's the lighting, the camera. Obviously it's the camera, but I don't know. Anyway, um, this is the hair. So, and tomorrow when I wash my hair and blow dry it and somewhat do it, I'll hopefully film it and I'll show you. 
but so far I'm happy with this. So it's the next day, I washed my hair, I blow dried it and then I applied some leave-in treatment because I was feeling like my hair was feeling a little bit too dry from blow drying it so I know I should have put it first before I decided to burn my hair but anyway so that's why it looks kind of wet but I think it's just a cream and now I'm going to use my flat iron this is the Rowenta I don't know the name of this this is a ceramic one it looks like this it's very thin so I'm going to use this to do those very flowy loose curls So this is the final result. And this is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you did, please make sure to like it, subscribe for more and I'll see you very very soon on my next one.